Hey, what's going on everybody? IO Studios here for another tutorial. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to remove graininess from some footage. So if you did it when it was dark or you had your ISO wrong, uh, whatever it is, I'm going to teach you guys how to remove the grain from your footage. Now, something I should say is it's always better, if you can, to reshoot your footage without the grain. Um, but if you have no other choice to remove it, if you have no other choice than to remove it, then uh, yeah, follow along. So, um... I'm going to start by importing my footage, and uh, there we go. So here's some footage. Now, oh, I put that in my render queue, oops, <laughs> put that into your composition here. Now, as you can see here, it's it's okay, you know, it, it's dark. It was dark when I took this footage. Now, obviously, this is just test footage, and it's not very important, but I could just reshoot this in the day. But for the sake of the tutorial, let's, uh, let's go ahead and fix it. So, as you can see, it's, it, it's really grainy, and it's not okay. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to remove the grain. So first, head to Effects and Presets and remove grain. Drag it onto your footage. Now here's the preview. So let's find that preview. Uh, let's, let's grab somewhere where it was really grainy. So uh, as you can see here, this is what it looks like where we're going to improve it. Now the thing is, uh, what we're going to do is we're actually going to set it to the final output. So this already removes a lot of the grain by just, as you can see here, it removes a lot of it by doing like this, but uh, it gets it gets pretty blurry. So um, see, I'm just going to show you again. Obviously it gets rid of a lot of it, but it gets pretty blurry. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to noise reduction settings and noise reduction um, actually we're gonna keep that one go to fine tuning and where are we at temporal filtering no unsharp mask sampling no sorry it's up at the uh, the noise reduction so you can just you can actually bring that down a bit and it will still reduce a lot of the noise but it won't blur uh, won't blur it as much so that's something you can change passes if you want you can bring those passes up and that will give you a slightly higher quality and you can see it's not as green anymore so here I'm gonna set this to a half resolution and actually I'm gonna set it to quarter because I think that's the only way we're gonna be able to preview this at decent FPS um, pretty laggy but as you can see the green is removed this is without the anti-grain is with it and uh, as you can see we have succeeded in removing the grain it does look slightly different it's not as sharp so you know that's what you're gonna have to sacrifice sharpness for removal of grain in this uh, we could try sharpening it slightly if you want to I wouldn't sharpen it too much maybe uh, 5% sharpen or 5 sharpen that's gonna give it not that's gonna yeah, it'll be a bit better. It won't be it won't be as soft. Um, but if you bring up the sharpness too much, you will end up uh, making it look really not good. So we'll set up the sharpness to ten, and that seems to have sharpened up enough for us. And you know you can always add contrast if you want more and, and stuff like that. But so I, I think this is a success. We have removed the graininess. Now you can get much more advanced with this, but this is just simple. How to remove the grain from footage. Uh, how to remove the graininess from your footage and yeah but as I've said before I still do recommend reshooting your footage rather than removing it if it's important footage though but if it's unimportant and you just want to remove the grain on it totally you can do this so um yeah I will end, end the tutorial now and I'll end the video now sorry and uh, I'll see you guys later obviously leave a like subscribe to my channel for more and I will see you guys later bye